Marissa and welcome back to my channel. I actually just got home from Costco and I thought it would be fun to share what I picked up while I was there. I actually was not even planning to be filming today, but I picked up a couple things that I needed to stock up on and then I found a couple like newer finds and I thought it would be fun to share what I picked up. So without further ado, let's go right on into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up from Costco is this really big bag of almond flour. Um, I really love using almond flour in like baking and all that, but almond flour can be a pretty pricey item when you're buying it from like a regular grocery store, so it just makes sense to buy it in bulk when I go to Costco. Um, it's not organic, but it is a really nice and more affordable way of buying almond flour, so I picked up one of these. The next thing I picked up is some honey as well as some maple syrup. I use these to sweeten anything in like baked goods, put it in my oatmeal, I'll put you know maybe some honey in some tea or whatnot. Um, I don't really like using white sugar, it just doesn't have any nutrients associated with it and I really love to use honey or maple syrup when I'm baking or in any you know thing that I would need to sweeten. Um, I find that it works just as good, if not better, than just using like regular white sugar and they have a lot more nutrients. The next thing I picked up is some peanut butter. Um, I love it because you get two of them. Um, I use peanut butter every single day. I love to put it in my oatmeal. Um, if you guys have seen any of my what I eat a days or if you follow me on Instagram, then you know the breakfast scene in my house very well because I eat pretty much the same thing every single day, which is oatmeal, and I put a little bit of drizzle of uh, peanut butter. I also like to put this on uh, like my yogurt bowl or um, like bake with this or whatnot. So I go through a lot of peanut butter and I like to buy it in bulk. I also like that it only has uh, dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt in here. There's no added oils or sugars, which is important to me when I buy my peanut butter. The next thing I got is some avocado oil. I actually got a couple of bottles of this. I just didn't want to carry them all. Um, I love to use this in all types of cooking. You can use this while you're baking. Um, it can. It has like a higher smoke point, so you can bring it to a high temperature without it oxidizing, um, which is important. You don't really want your oils to oxidize because then it can create inflammation in your body and inflammation can contribute to a lot of different chronic diseases. So anyways, I like to use avocado oil. It does not have like a flavor so I just wanted to say that when I before I ever like first you know tried avocado oil I thought maybe it would taste like avocados um, and I'm not like the hugest fan I know how good they are for you but they're just not like my most favorite thing to eat um, but anyway so this has no flavor so if you're afraid that it tastes like something it doesn't it's not like um, olive oil it has no flavor at all um, and yeah so anyways I love to use this in pretty much all forms of cooking the next oil I got is coconut oil. I love to use this while I am baking. Um, the one thing I wanted to say about coconut oil is that it does not make your food, like any baked goods, taste like coconut. Um, when you open the lid here and like you're, you know, um, like measuring it out to use it or whatever, it's going to smell like coconut. But when you're done baking or cooking or something, the product does not tastes like coconut. So I just wanted to say that, especially if you're not like a big coconut fan. Um, but anyway, so I love to use coconut oil while I'm baking and it is something that can be a little bit pricey. So I like to buy it in bulk from Costco. The next thing I got are some walnuts and pecans. Um, I love to use these in, you know, to make my own trail mix, to make granola, put it on top of yogurt or my oatmeal in the morning. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this. You could bake with these things, put it in um, your salads, you know, cook with them, whatever you want to do. So I usually go through a lot of walnuts and pecans and so I just decide to buy them in bulk from Costco. Next up, I got a couple of bags of these chips. These are the Off the Eaten Path Veggie Crisp, um, which has rice, peas, and black beans. And um, this brand, this is like my favorite chip ever. I love their ingredients and also they give you like a really good like satisfying salty crunch um, but they're not like super high in sodium um, it says about 15 pieces have 140 milligrams of sodium which is actually pretty good in my opinion so anyways I got a couple of bags of these I will say they are kind of addictive um, but you know try to limit yourself and uh, enjoy them every once in a while um, but they are so so good 
thing with snack foods, the next thing I got are these almond flour crackers by Simple Mills. Um, I really love these crackers. They are gluten-free. Um, if you're someone who follows a gluten-free diet, the ingredients are awesome. And you can use these just like you would use any other cracker, you know, with cheese or hummus. Just eat them on their own, put it with peanut butter, whatever you wanna do, maybe jelly. Jelly would be really good with this like a sweet, salty kind of thing. I don't know, whatever. Um, anyway, so I got a nice big box of these from Costco. The next thing I got is some bouillon. Um, this is beef and this is chicken. Um, I love to use these to help flavor soups, stews, um, to make gravies. So these are always really nice to have on hand. The next thing I got from Costco is actually a brand new find for me and I'm so excited by it. And that is this right here. This is the organic chicken bone broth. I am so excited. I love bone broth. Um, if you guys have been following my channel and like watched some of like my earlier videos when I did a lot of like gut health, um, like you know topics here on my channel, um, then you know that I'm a huge fan of bone broth, and I like to have it in my diet uh, on a regular basis to you know, to support gut health. Um, so for this, you can use this to make um, soups, stews, um, but I mostly use this to help me make gravies. Um, or like to just like help deglaze the pan after like I'm done cooking like chicken or something like that. Um, so this is so nice to have on hand and it's kind of pricey to buy bone broth that's organic um, in your local store when you just buy like one container. So it's really nice to get a big box. Um, there are six of those like cartons in here. So I'm so excited to give this a try and I will definitely let you guys know on Instagram what I think about them. And the last thing that I picked up at Costco today is actually another new buy for me. So I will let you guys know what I think of it as well. And that is ground beef. Um, there are three very large um, packages here. Um, there's 1.34 pounds each and it is organic and it's 85% lean and 15% fat, which is the percentage that I usually look for when I'm buying ground beef. And I love that it is organic. Um, so burgers, soups, stews, meatballs for sauce, whatever you want to do. Um, that's probably what I will be using these for. So anyways, I got a package of these. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up today at Costco. Um, I would love to know what your like favorite Costco finds are. So be sure to comment those down below. Um, I would absolutely love to know. It's always so much fun to like get like a new Costco find. I don't know. Makes my day. So Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.